Iran's president Ibrahim Raisi died in a helicopter crash on the 19th of May 2024. But who was Ibrahim Raisi? The conservative hardline president was born in 1960 in Meshhad, Iran. Raisi attended a Shia seminary in Qam city at the age of 15. Not long after, he participated in the 1979 protests against the Shah, which led to the Iranian Revolution and the formation of the Islamic Republic of Iran. At 25, the young Raisi became the deputy prosecutor of Tehran. He moved up the ranks of Iran's judicial system before eventually becoming the country's prosecutor general in 2014. His career was marked by allegations regarding his role in the notorious four-man death committee which oversaw the execution of thousands of political prisoners in 1988 and earned him a nickname in the West as the Butcher of Tehran, as well as condemnation by human rights groups. In 2019, the US Treasury sanctioned Raisi for his role in domestic repression. Raisi was elected President of Iran in June 2021, succeeding the moderate Hassan Rouhani. He won over 61% of the vote, although voter turnout was 48.8%, the lowest since the 1979 revolution. Raisi was known for his conservative values and his efforts to consolidate power within the hardline camp of Iran's political landscape. He also oversaw a brutal crackdown on mass protests that followed the death in custody of Iranian Kurdish woman Masa Amini in September 2022 after her arrest for allegedly breaking dress rules. Under Raisi, Iran signed a surprise deal with its regional arch-rival Saudi Arabia in March 2023, restoring diplomatic relations between the two countries. But its government also supplied arms to Russia during its war in Ukraine and armed proxy groups like Yemen's Houthi rebels and Lebanon's Hezbollah. Last month, Iran launched an unprecedented attack on Israel after an Israeli strike killed senior Iranian Revolutionary Guard officers in Iran's embassy in Damascus. Following Raisi's death, First Vice President Mohammad Bukhman has been confirmed as interim president. Authorities must now hold the election of a new president within a maximum period of 50 days. The newly elected president will serve a full four-year term.